Alicia. Hi. Uh, Alicia, how many years have you been doing your craft of bodywork? Uh, I've been doing this 17 years. 17 years? Mm. Um, what other things do you do outside of massage, uh, or have you? I, I think you know wrestling or something like that. What did, what did you do in wrestling? Did you do anything? <laughs> did WWF That's or anything? That's not fair. <laughs> I, did, I did used to work at the WWF. It's now WWE. Uh, what did you do? Um, I used to create uh, wrestling characters with some of the bosses. We would decide what they look like. and Like makeup or? And what their makeup was and what their costumes were and, uh, you know, what their shtick was. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia, how long or how often should somebody get a massage? Ooh, that's a good question because that's hard to answer because it depends on how hard you're working out, how much you need to recover, um, how great that massage feels, how much better you feel afterwards. So anywhere from every week to once a month. So it's going to depend on you and how amazing you feel after you've had that massage. Um, Alicia, does massage always uh, have to like be painful or aggressive? Or um, is there different times when you get different types of massage? Oh, not at all. Sometimes if you have a sore muscle, it might be a little painful, but that definitely goes to whatever your comfort level is. So it's not always painful. Actually, it can be quite amazing. So what are you looking at, Alicia? I'm looking at, where, at the angle of her foot when she bends her knee. So what does that mean? Well, you want your bone, you want everything to line up right, and her foot is at that pretty extreme angle. Is this the one you had surgery on? No. Okay, good. So what does that mean? And so, so it could mean that it's bothering her knee because if her foot is sitting like that, then this hamstring muscle can be pulling on this outside bone. Okay. And then so when her knee is trying to sit, uh, your leg on top of your lower leg and your knee right here, it could pull it out of whack. Yep. So that it can make your knee uh, hurt or feel uncomfortable or feel funny when okay. you run or load it. I see. So show me again. So if we're looking at her foot, oh yeah, see the angle see of that. it. Yeah. Yep. Out of whack. So I like it's that. It's out of whack. Right. So is that tight? Yeah. Does it hurt? No, it's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. I like that term. Mm -hmm. So what are you working on here with the feet? So I'm just working to see where her foot is falling. So we're just going to give her knee a little space. Oh, that looks glorious. A little, little room. Uh, stretch it all out. That looks delicious. Feels really right. good. Right. What's next? Alicia, how aggressive or how do you know how much uh, tension you have to apply? Uh, well, I'll feel the muscle to see how tight it is and then I'll ask you how it feels. Because I can feel that it's tight, but I can't feel if it's sore. Only you can tell me that. So check in with you to make sure what we're doing is what feels right to you. Um, how do you treat uh, athletes um, and different um, people who are active? Um, how do you treat them differently? Like, What's the difference between um, what you would do with like a runner or a um, triathlete? Like, what is the difference in how you treat everybody so differently? Well, like today I worked on Tessa and she's getting ready for a half marathon. Mm -hmm. So oh, her hips were a little bit tight and her knee was a little bit sore, but I worked a lot on her calves and her shins, which were very tight. That makes it hard to run sometimes. 